going on everyone welcome back to the revenue jeep channel so today i have another upgrade for this jeep um the only other upgrade that i've done is the 67 design phone mount that i did for the jeep um that's other besides that i haven't done any other upgrades but as you go you know you get people to climb inside your jeep they want to check out your new vehicle and i did get some comments it wasn't bad feedback i mean i kind of knew it was gonna occur because i sat behind the jeep but it's the rear seat, as you guys can tell that for you JK owners and JL owners as well. That seat, you're kind of pretty much sitting like a 90 degree angle. So it's kind of uncomfortable, not really. I mean, I don't care because I'm driving the Jeep, so I don't really uh, see it bothering me. But I, maybe, I guess, if you're sitting back there, it can get annoying. If you're getting tired, you want to take a little snooze, you know, you want to at least recline a little bit back. So that's the only upgrade that I'm going to do right now in this video. I want to show you guys very basic installation. The kit that they offer for JKs and JLs is the innovative JK Products Rear Seat Recline Kit. So basic installation, uh, it's gonna help out your rear seat recline just a little bit. It's not an ultimate solution, but it is a solution that'll help you out and you know, your passengers may like it. If you have kids in the back, that'll help out as well. So join me guys, we're gonna get this installation. It's gonna be a quick installation with the right tools, you can do it. And let's get this going, check it out. Okay, so my first guest for this video is gonna be my nephew Alonzo. So as you guys can see him, just to make it easier, you guys can take a look. As you guys can see, he's gonna sit there. I'm gonna try to keep him in place. So you guys can see if you can recline a little bit. <laughs> there you go, good job. You guys can see, I mean, for him, it looks like it's not too bad. He can recline back. He likes being on the camera, but back here, I recline back. For me, it's not gonna bother me. For my passengers, they already commented, but as you guys can see, the angle that I'm sitting so it's kind of like a 90 degree angle so with this kit hopefully it's gonna recline a little bit more and it'll be a better uh, comfort level for my passengers so take a close look and then we'll see how uh, once I install this kit how much of uh, the recline it will be okay so the first part is removing these three bolts in the rear of the seats you guys can see one two and then three right there so let's remove these three bolts and then that way we can get the installation going Alright, so for these you only have to remove them just a little bit, not completely out, so just a note on that. Just slightly we unbolt them, but just leave them on. Moving on to the front or the front of the seat. Let's check it out. So there's bolts right here, one right there, and then of course one right here. I have to remove the carpet a little bit. And then on the other side. So let's remove those. That'll be the next step. After we remove those front bolts. You're gonna use your seat belt to kind of like hold and position the bottom portion of the rear seat. As you guys can see, it's all strapped right there. You're gonna do the same with the other side. And then just remove these bolts. We're gonna start off with this one and then move along. And that'll be the next step. So let's look at the kit. You guys can see it includes all the spaces that you're gonna need. Some of the bolts that are a little longer than the OEM ones. So we're gonna use those. So to start off, Let's uh, look at these. There's only three on bolts they had to take off on the rear portion of these rear seat brackets. So we're gonna use the smaller um, brackets here, or the smaller spacers. These are about like a quarter of an inch thick. So we're gonna use these. We're gonna place them underneath here. We're gonna lift this part out and then put the spacers there and then bolt it back on. So right, let's not confuse these. Uh, the thicker ones. Are gonna be for the front portion of the seat up here. All right, so let's do that first. And then the instructions indicate that the portion with the openings that you guys can see right here, that's gonna be facing down. So when you install them, slide them under, slide them in like that. All right, do, do not install them like this. All right, that's what the instructions say. I don't, I don't know if that's the way they designed it. So let's do that and just make sure to install them and slide them in underneath like this and then it's bolted on.
Spacers installed right there on all three bolts in the back. Real closer look. You know me, I like to show you guys exactly how it looks after it's installed. All right, so next we're gonna install these other spacers, the front ones. There's four of those, like, I, like you guys saw, two here and then two on the other side. So let's install these and we're gonna use these hardware so that way it can go through the spacer and onto uh, the tub of the Jeep. So you guys can see right there will be it. And then all it, all it takes now is just putting it all together. So very simple installation. Uh, it shouldn't take you long. It's taking me a little bit longer just cause I'm recording, but other than that, let's do that and we'll almost be done. They want you to place these once again with the slots in here facing the floor and then the hole of the spacer is going to face towards the rear of the Jeep, right? So towards your seats and then this actual space right here, it's going towards the front of your Jeep. So just make that notation. If you're installing them, don't install them like this. All right. I mean, like I said, make sure just to follow instruction, guys, and then just install them that way. They're going to line it up and then just bolt it back on. So the spacer is installed and the longer bolt is on as well. So before I tie in, I just want to show you guys how it looks. I have to vacuum in here a little bit, but either way, that's how it's going to look, guys. Close up look. How it's going to look. We're pretty much done with the installation. The last two or the last two items to do, and this is separate, of course, so let's pay attention here, guys. Um, the last thing is just to torque down the rear. Uh, bolts so the instructions t uh, indicate for you to tie in these or torque them down to specifications so for uh, the two nuts right here this one's with the thread sticking out on the corners we're gonna uh, torque these down to 62.5 foot pounds and then this center one right here we're gonna do that one to 45 foot pounds so let's make sure we do that when you guys install this make sure to torque these down is important for your safety so let's make sure we follow that instruction but other than that that'll be it and then we'll take an overall look all right we torqued everything down so we're gonna get everything back to normal get the, all the belt buckles back tucked inside make sure the seats are nice and attached and that'll be it take out all the tools and then i'm gonna sit inside so you guys can take a look at the difference we're expecting some big difference but we'll see how much of a difference it'll be and we'll see the overall rating on this installation installation's complete guys so let's check it out let's see how it looks all right so i'm in my position i'm gonna go back now oh yeah big difference now if you guys can recall let's see if we can go back I'm a lot more comfortable now now I had my brother hop inside so you can test it out and he said it was a big difference he was the one that commented that you had to do something about the back seat and there you go guys you guys can see hopefully you guys can see let me go to the side more even it's sitting in the middle it's a lot more comfortable so you guys can see I'm more like laid back it's a lot more comfortable now so all right guys so there we go that was a quick installation of the recline seat kit it was fairly easy you guys can tell you guys can do it comment down below what are your thoughts about it if you guys have any questions i can answer them the price how much difference it was i can comment you guys can comment down below and i'll answer it we'll see you on the next video guys